to my fingers, PK? You, know, you would think nothing wrong with this. If they had the option of not being born, classic women don't know what they want. Women bad. And good. Up in the train tracks right now. But these people don't make any sense to me. You understand this, right? He's a one trick pony. I'm not trying to start any beef or anything because. Recently on my TikTok for you page, I've been noticing this guy come about. A lot of times I've been seeing clips of this guy, well, you know, popping around my For You page. Oh my and his name is, forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Shneeko. Oh my god, bro. And it's basically just clips of him reacting to, uh, you know, live streams, other people's content and stuff. And, you know, you would think nothing wrong with it. You'd think this, this guy wants views and loads of people are uploading clips. But the small issue is some of these clips aren't exactly the most acceptable in the world. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate yourself? 10. Um, I'm a 10. You're a 10. I told you. They all think that. Anything like no room for improvement or... Do you want to know why she's not an original person and how dumb this sounds? Because every single girl is going to say I'm a 10. Every single one. A few of them that caught my attention are mostly clips about him talking about women and him reacting to women. Now, this would be fine if he's just what if he's just looking at them, because I get I, like a lot of people look at women, it's a bit weird, but you know, a lot of people do. But he's not exactly saying nice things. Borderline being said, like, if you just look at a few clips, then you'll understand what I'm saying. It's just kind of his whole bit, his whole personality is that he doesn't like women. Now, I get it, sexism, funny, ha ha ha, women bad, men good whatever but this guy i think takes it a bit too far and if you look at his channel he uploads like every nanosecond and his views to sub ratio are horrible <laughs> <laughs> on his second channel which has 430k subs which is pretty impressive but like i said his view to sub ratio is horrible he barely gets 20k views per video and they're all just clips of him reacting to the different things and most of them are either other people's channel you absolute women and all the clips on tiktok are him reacting to videos about people talking to women and him saying oh, you classic women don't know what they want oh bad women bad men good but women bad it's just kind of he, he for me kind of feels just like a discount and say, and say obviously top g big up my guy but this guy, he has one bit and he goes through it the entire, his entire career. And when I say, in the, like, uh, as in the title, as it says, YouTube's newest sexist, he has been around for a while. He's, he hasn't joined, like, this year or anything. So it's, you know, 400, 430k in less than a year. It's, it's pretty impressive. But no, he's been around for a while. Just, I've, I think he's been getting a bit more popular recently. I, I've been seeing a lot more clips of him. He's been uploading a lot more. So that's why I say that he's come more into the light. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it. Like, Andrew, he's always existed. He's just come into the light now. I know how YouTube works. But this guy is just... There's nothing redeeming, really, about... To say, to say about him. He's just less sexist. And he, he, he uploads mostly stream highlights, which I get it, they're not gonna get many views and you're gonna up, be able to upload them super quickly. But if you do it in a way like, basically just copies Radeon Premium, which is in a stream highlight channel, which I get, like, you know, you wanna have stream highlight channels so you can get more money yes, off sir, of what you're yes, streaming. Sir. Pyrocynical does it as well, and he's a very big YouTuber. And, yeah, but the difference between Radeon Premium and Pyrocynical and Shniko is that that the Judeon Premium and Pyrocynical are likeable people, you know, you can relate to them. They have good personalities. Him, he's a one-trick pony. He has nothing else going for him. If, you know, if women didn't exist... Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. They're gonna do them, they bum, bum, bum. I would be the most bland, boring person on the internet. Because he wouldn't have any content. I'm not trying to start any beef or anything, because he's infinitely bigger than me. Like, I don't, I don't really like beef anyway, like... Sure, you can get maybe one or two videos out of it, but that's it. And I just want some, wanted some attention to be brought. He has stands. He has people who really like him. Like if you go into his live streams, the chat is pretty active.
it, it's not like the same person spamming all the time. He, his chat is pretty active, but it's just all of brainless who are sh just are sheep to whatever he says. Like if he says subscribe to Pungawax, because that's just the type of people that watch this type of person. Like basically, and they hate viewers. They're just they're just the bottom right who will follow anything a popular person says because they don't know how to make choices for themselves. It's just kind of how the world works in a sad way. Nico. Or anyone that likes Nico, stop. Get a new, get a new bit. Get a new idea. Get a new funny. I get it. Women, women, they're funny. Women, they're bad. Women, they're stupid. Women, they don't know how to drive. It, it's funny for a while, and it, if you're doing it in a joke format, it's funny. But I don't think he's doing. I, I don't think this is a joke. It's scary that he's not putting an act for this because I, I can tell he's not definitely not putting an act on for this. Good morning, USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face, and he's shining a salute to the American race. Oh boy, it's swell to say. Good morning. 